what this El Reno, OK Lahoma County Sheriff's deputy did when he fired a warning shot into an unarmed Mon's chest, killing him. He did it in cold blood. It happened on Wednesday, December 1st, in a rural part of the Oklahoma City area. On that fateful day, Deputy Brian Wooten was driving to work when he pulled over a silver 2005 Ford Escape and asked the driver for his license and registration. We have a warrant for your arrest for possession of marijuana, Wooten told the man. The man said yes, but he was in fact driving with a suspended license. The deputy asked the man if he wanted to go home, and he agreed. The deputy then shot into the car's window. It hit the man, who was sitting in his truck. I don't know if he thought it would kill me, the driver recalled. I don't remember what happened after I shot him. Wooten, who had no gun, did not have time to pull his sidearm out. Instead he pulled out his 9mm Glock handgun and fired three times, killing 26-year-old Anthony Lee Smith, who had a concealed handgun license and was also driving a vehicle. Smith, who lived about two miles from where the deputy stopped the car, had been drinking and taking drugs. He had been in an argument with another man and had been arguing with Wooten over a parking space when the deputy pulled him over. The two men were then fighting, and after the deputy tried to pull the two men out of the car, Smith started hitting the officer with an unknown object. According to Wooten's account in a police report, a second deputy, who was not in the vehicle with Wooten, arrived to take over, but Smith's death was ruled accidental, he didn't get shot by a gun. The deputy then fired again into the car's window, hitting Smith twice. The deputy was fired on December 7 after the city's police commission voted to fire him, citing a lack of evidence. I don't remember what happened after I shot him. Wooten, who had no gun, did not have time to pull his sidearm out. Instead he pulled out his 9mm Glock handgun and fired three times, killing 26-year-old Anthony Lee Smith, who had a concealed handgun license and was also driving a vehicle. Smith, who lived about two miles from where the deputy stopped the car, had been drinking and taking drugs. He had been in an argument with another man and had been arguing with Wooten over a parking space when the deputy pulled him over. The two men were then fighting, and after the deputy tried to pull the two men out of the car, Smith started hitting the officer with an unknown object. According to Wooten's account in a police report, a second deputy, who was not in the vehicle with Wooten, arrived to take over, but Smith's death was ruled accidental, he didn't get shot by a gun. The deputy then fired again into the car's window, hitting Smith twice. The deputy was fired on December 7 after the city's police commission voted to fire him, citing a lack of evidence. The council also ordered that he undergo a psychiatric evaluation. Wooten, who is currently on administrative leave, said in an interview that he is not a racist and doesn't regret shooting Smith. He was